Hi everyone, this is YC. Welcome to my channel, YC Cooks and Bakes. I guess now you have found out by looking at the title what my cake is based on, Coca-Cola. And of course, Coca-Cola is not paying me to say this or cook with it or, uh, you know, they don't sponsor me or anything like that. But this is a Coca-Cola cake. And I'm sure some of you have gone into Aldi and have seen 7-Up cakes and things like that. This is actually a really old recipe from years and years and years ago. Um, so this isn't anything new, but a lot of you may not have heard of it because, uh, you know, some people, they get away from the older recipes and then you, there's just all like chocolate, vanilla, you know, the regular cakes, cheesecake, you know, you don't think of soda as possibly being in a cake. Uh, but there is a Coca-Cola cake, and I thought I would bring you along for the ride because I'm going to be making one tonight. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is, in my little saucepan, I'm going to melt a half a cup of butter. And you know that's one stick. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And we're going to put in also one third cup of cocoa and one cup of coca-cola get this thing heated up here i hope everybody is having a good friday and if you celebrate so good friday i hope you're enjoying your good friday um we had a lot of stuff to do we didn't have we didn't do anything special or anything like that pretty much you know a lot of us still had to go to work and things like that so but now my husband did uh, get today off but getting um, a day off of work doesn't necessarily mean getting a day off from work because you know when he comes here there's all kinds of work to do cutting trees and using his saws and making stands for pool filters and you name it he's he's had to do it getting out the paint sprayer and all kinds of chores you know things that need to be done for spring so okay this stick of butter is melting really good and when i get it all melted i'll bring you back okay it's melted so now at this time i'm going to put in the one third cup of unsweetened baking cocoa and one cup of coca-cola we don't drink soda pop except for um, my middle son he drinks sodas and he came he came up to me in the kitchen today earlier today he said you know, it's weird. I'm so tired. I don't even remember buying that cola. I said, that's because you didn't. <laughs> I bought it for a recipe. <laughs> he said, oh, he said, I was wondering. <laughs> and he buys them every week from time to time. He'll buy one, you know. <laughs> so it's funny. He thought that he might have bought it and didn't remember doing it. Okay. The other thing I have to put in is one and one half cups of the miniature marshmallows and I take this off the stove right when these are at the brink of being done and then I'll meet you at the counter okay I'm at the counter and um, what I'm gonna do is we'll take out the bowl and I'll bring you forward so you can see what I'm doing okay uh, that way you can see me putting the ingredients in. Um, we're going to use uh, two cups of all-purpose flour. Okay, and then um, one and one quarter cups of sugar. Okay, and then... Um, a teaspoon of baking soda baking soda you know that's in this okay. 
você. Okay, I'm getting tired. It's been a long day with laundry and cooking and everything else. Okay. Whew. Okay, I'm going to get something to mix all this. Okay, I'm going, oops, whoa, I know that noise must have hurt your ears. Um, sorry about that. Um, I'm going to use this whisk to mix these ingredients together. But what I was going to say, if I didn't tell you yet, um, I'm preheating my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Hope nobody had their earphones on high. I know what that's like. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. We're going to put in two large eggs. Um, a half a cup of buttermilk. Okay. A quarter cup of Greek yogurt. And this is just, this is, this is plain. Boy, well, something about this metal thing in that glass, I'll tell you. I, I should have picked a wooden spoon. I picked the wrong thing, didn't I? Anyway, some Greek yogurt. You know, not the flavored kind, or it doesn't have anything in it, you know what I mean? So it's, there's no sugar in that. But I put sugar in the cake, of course. Um, okay, and then I'll go get the vanilla. Okay, I have the vanilla now. Uh, I almost grabbed the cinnamon extract. That would have been horrible. That would have been absolutely terrible. But they did have... Um, didn't they have a cinnamon coke at one time? Or I don't remember. But anyway, let's see here. Yeah, one teaspoon. <laughs> I don't want it in my cake. I mean, I love cinnamon, but I don't want it in this particular cake. <laughs> I imagine cinnamon extract is extremely strong. Okay, we'll get this all mixed up and then I'm going to put in the ingredients that we had on top of, you know, that we did at, on the stove. And I'm going to just pour all that into my sprayed 9 by 13 Pyrex. I'm going to keep working on getting this mixed up. Okay, so I took the pot off the stove and mixed it with everything that I had here in the bowl. And now I'm going to pour it into my 9 by 13. All right. 
Ooh, getting tired. <laughs> okay, so, okay, the oven's already preheated. So I'm gonna pop this in the oven, and this goes in the oven for about 30 minutes. Okay, so while that is uh, baking, we are going to continue on and do the Coca-Cola icing. And um, you need another um, half stick of butter in your pot. And then um, this time we're going to use um, a quarter cup of cocoa. That's the unsweetened baking cocoa. And then um, we're going to use a third cup of the Coca-Cola. And you can see, there it is right there. And we're going to mix these together and um, then mix it with three cups of icing sugar and that will make the top and then um, you just sprinkle it with some chopped pecans, chopped nuts, whatever kind you want. It's, you're supposed to use like a cup, I only have a half a cup and that's what I'm going to use. whisk away. Whew. Go ahead and use this. It'll get like a, kind of like a velvety consistency, you know? And then I gotta, then I'll mix it in to my icing, my powdered sugar, you know, icing sugar. have uh, you know blenders and beaters and mixers and um, uh, but I didn't I didn't really want to get it out you know my husband went to lay down um, I can get it out he wouldn't care but I do I care okay um, see and this will be the top and then um I have these is it yeah it's chopped pens that after I put this on top of the cake, I'll be sprinkling with uh, the chopped cans. Okay. <laughs> okay, I just want to show you the cakes out of the oven. And it didn't even take 30 minutes. It takes somewhere between 20 and 30 minutes. Look at it. Isn't that beautiful? So, I mean, that's what it looks like. It doesn't take any time at all. I'm just shocked by it. Okay, so we'll let it cool a bit. Okay, are you ready to see the final product? This is the chocolate cake. It's Coca-Cola cake, but it's made with cocoa, so I call it chocolate cake. But it's Coca-Cola cake with Coca-Cola icing. See?
Isn't that pretty? That's what it looks like. And I'll let you know if my boys like this Coca-Cola cake or not. And that way you can give it a try if you'd like, because I'm going to put the recipe and the icing, the Coca-Cola icing recipe also in the description for you. I hope everybody has a beautiful weekend. And if you celebrate Easter, I hope you have a very happy and beautiful Easter. And everyone, please stay safe. Good night.